The Sawyer Microfilter is less weight, less volume, and has the same flow rate as the Sawyer Squeeze. I'm gonna go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Frozen and thanks for joining me. Before we start, I'm trying to hike the Pacific Crest Trail and I need you to do me a big favor, guys. It's really huge. Here's what you gotta do. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That's all I ask. It goes a long way to helping the channel and it definitely helps me save to get on the PCT in 2024. So let's kick off the video. We're comparing the Sawyer Micro to the Sawyer Squeeze. I've been using this guy for several years now and I've even used it on an entire through hike of the Appalachian Trail, 2,192 miles, and then I finally replaced it when I got home. I needed a new filter anyway because my Sawyer Squeeze that I had on the AT was completely done. It was trashed, it was clogged. Lasted a whole through hike, can't complain. So I bought the Micro in March and I took it out on several day hikes ranging from four miles up to 20 miles and Evit brought it on an overnight trip on Old Logger's Path. Now after I got back from the Old Logger's Path trip, I immediately went on Amazon and purchased another Sawyer Squeeze filter. It's tried and trusted and I love this guy. It has now 110 miles and I have no problems with it ever. But after only 110 on this one, I saw some serious, serious slowdowns. But instead of giving my review on how bad, in my opinion, that this filter is, I thought I'd back up my opinion with some actual data. Some numbers, if you will. I actually put both of these filters through the same tests. I used a multitude of different vessels, including smart water bottles, a Noc Vecto, and an Evernew bag. And I have some pretty interesting numbers that I wanna share with you. So first of all, I ran this thing through tests five times and then averaged the numbers. So I would like to share with you the numbers that I got. In the first test, what I did was I took the micro, attached it to a smart water bottle with a liter of water inside the bottle and I filtered it. After five liters of filtering, I averaged 50.55 seconds to filter a full liter of water with the micro. Now with the same test on the Sawyer Squeeze, I averaged 23.84 seconds. That's twice the performance in the squeeze versus the micro. So after those results, I thought I'd take it even farther because let's be honest, there are some people that don't use water bottles like I do, they use bags. And that's totally cool. You do your thing, I'll do mine. I did hook it up to a, an Evernew bag on the, with the micro. I put one liter of water in my two liter Evernew bag, ran it through five times, and I averaged a minute we'll say a minute and 17 seconds on the micro. Pretty good, but it's getting a little slow, as you can tell. So bottles are obviously faster than running it through an Evernew bag, but with the same test on the Sawyer Squeeze, I got 21.67 seconds. And again, I have done this five times and then averaged my results so I don't have skewed data. Now that is crazy, a minute and almost 17 seconds compared to 21 and a half seconds roughly on the Sawyer Squeeze with the Evernew bag. So I then thought I'd take it even farther because I know that the Knock Vecto, which is another water filtering bag, uh, has gotten a lot of traction in the hiking community. So I ran that up. I just wanted to kind of see the results. On the micro, I got an even worse time. I got a minute and almost 24 seconds. One minute, 23.55 is what I got on this. With the squeeze and the, the knock Vecto, I had a solid 27, we'll say 28 seconds on that. So you can see that the, the data, the data on these shows, and I urge you to do your own tests with these if you have both filters. I'm just sharing my results with you because I hope it's gonna save someone some money from buying this. I wish I didn't buy this, but I think it was only 15 bucks or whatever, so no harm, no foul, and I made a video about it to help people. So, so we know that the Sawyer Squeeze is the better filter of the two if you're looking for just flow rate. Now there are some other physical differences between these. Obviously this is like maybe just a little bit smaller in volume, right? Not a big deal. This one also has the gravity little nipple thing on it, so you can attach a hose to it and use it as a gravity filter. Uh, whereas the Sawyer has it, but not on the reverse end. So if you want to do a hose in a hose, you have to hook up an actual bag or a water bottle to the top. So you can use this as an inline filter for like a, like a hydration pack in your, in your backpack, if you would like. 
with the Sawyer Squeeze, they do offer that solution, but you'd have to get a little adapter. It's a couple, it's maybe a buck or two that they do make it, it's a little blue adapter. But between the bottle, the Evernew bag, and the Knock Vecto, we have really, we have the bottle being the fastest option, we have the Evernew bag being the second fastest option, and then coming in last place, which is really surprising to me, was the Knock Vecto. In conclusion, I will not be using the Sawyer Microfilter, and I really can't recommend it because there's just a far superior filter out there in the Sawyer Squeeze if you're willing to sacrifice that one ounce and a little bit of extra volume in your pack. Now, what I'd really like to do for a future video, I'd like to put this filter up against another popular filter, which is the Katadyne Be Free. Not Katahdin, but the Katadyne Be Free. And I would like to do the exact same test that I did with the Micro and Squeeze versus the Squeeze and the Katadyne Be Free. So look for that video uh, coming probably maybe in the summer. We've got to get another 110 miles on that thing, uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm really curious to see what all the hype's about. It seems like every time I hear something great about a product, it ends up like this guy. Actual tests show that it just isn't worth it. So anyway, guys, I hope that helped you, and thank you for watching. I will see you on the trail.